Not aight. We're back. And today we're drinking this here grog. This is Cerveceria Cucupa. Cucapa. And this is Obscura Brown Ale. So there you go. They got some information right up front, which is kind of cool. Looks like they used, uh, you know, specialty malts, carafa, chocolate, Chinook hops. No idea what the rest of that language is, but uh, 4.8 ABV, so we do get that. And you can kind of get a better look at the uh, uh, additional info right there. Looks like 28 IBUs. Very nice, very nice. This is another beer out of Mexico. I'm not exactly sure where, though. Let's see. Tencho in Mexico. Tijuana, maybe? Yeah, maybe Tijuana. I'll let you guys see that right there. But let's crack this open and uh, give it a go. As per any normal person, I have my bottle opener right here in my shaved den. I do not have a problem. I can quit whenever I want. Cheers. Hmm. It's pretty fucking tasty. Some good swill right there. It's very, <clears throat> it has a slightly sweet, like caramely, um, maybe just a hair roasty, but very bready and sweet. I like it. That is tasty. It's kind of hard to fuck up a brown ale, but that's a good one. So, it be Shave Like a Pirate Week. Uh, my boy Lather Me Whiskers puts on a Shave Like a Pirate Week every so often. And it's Shave Like a Pirate Week now. And it couldn't have came at a better time because Murphy and McNeil sent me this preview set of Granuale. And this is based off of Grace, um, an Irish pirate woman. Um, and so, killer artwork right there. Very nice. Um, definitely got the little Irish theme, I think, with that kind of like Celtic knot or whatever it is, braid. Uh, you get a look at the side label here. It's got that kind of reflective silver um, labeling, granule. That's, I believe that's how you say it. Razor Rays did the artwork. Of course, we got Murphy and McNeil is the brand there. And this one is in the Kodiak base, so you could get a look at that right there. Really good stuff in this Kodiak base. Um, duck fat, beef tallow, bear tallow, castor oil, cocoa butter, goat milk, sodium hydroxide, shea butter, lanolin, jojoba, uh, kaolin clay, tussa silk, and more that I'm not as familiar with, but real good shit. I would have kind of liked to see the collapsed veins on this Kodiak base, but this one looks a little like it uh, cleaned up its act. No collapsed veins on this one, but a very nice pour indeed. And this stuff smells nice, and we will get into that, but I should start get to shaving. So, that's the soap and splash. I have my uh, Thirsty Badger lather bowl, my Thirsty Badger shaving bowl, all lathered up. Ready to go. You can see the Thirsty Badger on the bottom, even though it's upside down. But got it all lathered up right there. It made a very nice lather with that. And then I got my Broches El Drudia uh, handle here, which is kind of like this um, scarred, uh, marbled piece of wood with a turn and shave V3 knot, not gelled. So let's get some water on the face. Let's get some lather on the face and get this shave moving along. So yeah, this was sent to me by Murphy and McNeil to preview. So I did receive this uh, for free, so take that into a, an account. But um, they suspected that I would like this scent and they couldn't have been more right because this is kind of, um, to me, it's a little bit warm. Um, it's kind of like a scent that you could probably wear all year round. Like, it's not too warm or dark, and it's not, um, too bright or, or light. It just kind of, like, rides somewhere in the middle there. And for me, I feel like you could, you could wear this all year round. Really nice scent. 
and I'll get into the scent notes in a second when I move on from lathering, but it's, um, well, maybe I should just do it right now. So it's got scent notes of gunpowder, white leather, uh, aged oak, and salty ocean aquatics. And so with some of those scent notes, you would think it would be very dark, but no, it comes across very much like a classy cologne type scent. I really do enjoy this. This is quite nice. Like I said, not too warm or dark. I do think it's a nice mix of that aged oak and white leather. And then um, on top of that, that warmth that the aged oak and, and leather have, um, creating that like nice masculine base you do get and I got it more so after I started lathering not off the puck but you do get some of those aquatics that sneak in it's it's like fleeting bright notes so I, I feel like the the prominent notes are definitely the oak and leather but there are fleeting brighter notes those um salty aquatics they do kind of come and go for me anyways and it's just the result is just like a classy masculine cologne and uh i don't think it's too dark to wear in the spring and summer and i don't think it's too bright that you couldn't easily wear this in the fall and winter it's just it's really good stuff i i really do enjoy this scent and it's probably a five to six out of ten like i i'm smelling it and i left the jar open in my bathroom and i could just smell it like it it's nice okay we got the timeless bronze here and this is the uh the point three eight hope you could see that the timeless bronze point three eight and then we got a Wizamet uh, blade inside of it that has been used before. And this Kodiak base, this Bear Tallow base, is fucking killer. I am a big fan of this Kodiak base. I used something else recently, I forgot which one it was. But. I mentioned in that video as well that this Kodiak base is very much one of the best soap bases we have available to us. And every time I use it, I just get so much pleasure out of it. It whips up a lather very easily. And it's just a nice, dense, creamy, luxurious lather and... I, I just, I love it. It's one of my favorites for sure. So the release date for this one is September 19th. So coming up soon, September 19th, pretty much at the end of next week. And uh, if you're interested, you can pick it up at murphyandmcneil.com. And... As of some point last week, I made a, an affiliate link for murphyandmcneil.com and I'll link that to this video. Um, I'll put it in the description of this video, my affiliate link, so that you guys can take advantage of that if you want. And if you don't want, no worries, I don't care. But if you do want to use it, it does help the channel in some way, shape, or form. I think it just, I think YouTube just sees it as, um, like, interaction from your viewers and subscribers. And so, that sort of interaction is helpful in the um, all-knowing algorithms. But... Like I said, it's there if you want to use it. If you don't want to use it, I don't care. <clears throat> I 
Real good stuff. First pass is in the books. And that was very enjoyable. All right. Let's take a little swig and we'll get uh, into pass two here. Mm. Real good stuff. All right. So I was holding my Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl a little bit wrong. Um, when I, my first use of it, I was holding it like this. I put two fingers through the, uh, the ring and I was holding it like this and, you know, I got a good grip on it and I was holding it up against my body as well. But Jared told me to put my thumb through the hole and then hold it like that, kind of rest it in your palm. And that works just fine too. And it feels a little bit more comfortable as well. So that's the way that I did it. <clears throat> Let's get some more lather. I absolutely love this bowl. It's a great addition to my den. The ridges on it, the ridges are very helpful in aiding in making a nice, luxurious lather. And then on top of that, they're not super deep ridges, so it's not hard for me to get the soap. Um, worked in and incorporated so really there's <laughs> there's absolutely no complaints like it's a little bit shallower than I would like it I think if it was just a little bit taller I wouldn't have soap uh, spill over as often but I just got to keep like a little bit tighter circle when I'm lathering up and I think I'll be fine I'm just gonna paint a little bit of water in this lather that was on the bottom of the bowl looks like it could have used a little bit more hydration. And Kodiak does take a good amount of water, so don't definitely don't be afraid to, to give it water. Oh yeah. That's a little bit more smooth. That looks a little bit more a little bit more what we're aiming for. Okay. All right, real good stuff. And it's just bold and banging. Like it is actually, it's actually radiating in my bathroom. Like the, the scent on this one, definitely above medium. At first I said like five to six, I would say it's at least six. It's, um, I, I'm just continuously smelling it. So that is a good thing in my opinion. That's the way I like it. It's a very nice, <laughs> very nice mix of uh, wood, leather, and then those aquatics, like I said, those are kind of fleeting, but they don't feel out of place somehow. Very nice. Hands are a little bit slippery with the... Kodiak base on them. Absolutely no issues when it comes to using the Kodiak base. Good slickness, original and residual slickness. And nice luxurious density that it just feels good, man. The Kodiak base is one of those ones that you, uh, you kind of catch yourself wanting to just play with the lather. <laughs> Very nice. Get some of those beard hairs up there. this side over here I think this blade will probably be done after this shave I don't really keep track of how many times I use a blade but you kind of just know like I'm very familiar with the wisdom at blades and it does kind of feel like this one has kind of lost a bit of its smoothness And so 
This one will get tossed in the tossed in the bin, and we'll go with a fresh blade on the next DE shave. Get that, get that uh, swirl that I have right on the Adam's apple. Get a little bit of this across the grain action going on as well. Just to kind of catch all those angles. Get down, down deep. And that concludes the shave portion. Let's go ahead and uh, rinse this lather off. That went extremely well, and that was extremely enjoyable. <clears throat> the uh, everything from the scent to the soap base, my new my new shaving bowl, which was a pleasure to use. We we're firing on all cylinders today, so that's good. That's the way we like it. That's the way to wind down a uh, Sunday weekend shave. So, like I said, it's available September 19th. If you guys are uh, interested in this scent, like I said, I think this is going to be one that you could easily wear year round. I think it kind of fits somewhere in that like medium spectrum where it's not too dark not too bright it's just kind of right in the middle very nice all right let me grab a lancaster towel dry off go with lancaster gray today So big thanks to Murphy and McNeil for sending this out to me. Um, I definitely appreciate it when when I get to preview items like this. It doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, I'm definitely appreciative for the opportunity because every time something gets sent out uh, to someone like me, you don't know exactly how it's going to go. And you do know <laughs> that I'm going to give my 100% true feelings and opinions about the product that you send so <laughs> it's not an inherent uh, positive when you send something to me but if you have faith in your product and you want to send it my way I definitely appreciate it I'll never slam someone unless it's just like and obvious like cash grab or something this one here this was a wonderful scent in one of my favorite soap bases a very uh, enjoyable aftershave splash as well but the scent is the main draw and it is nice very nice it's a win for me came just in time for shave like a pirate week which I will be participating in over the course of the next few days. Let's get a look at this uh, aftershave bottle right there. We got reflective gold on the aftershave bottle. Same artwork. We got this kind of uh, tan um, fake leather top cap there. One of the best, <laughs> best looking aftershave bottles in the game. Frosted glass. This one here is an alcohol. Um, aftershave but Murphy and McNeil does have non-alcohol aftershaves as well so you just can't go wrong they have industry standard quality restrictors nothing nothing bad to say about this uh, shave scent was good artwork is nice the Kodiak base is one of my favorites the um, aftershave splash is very good quality, has a lot of good ingredients in it. Just nothing, nothing bad to say. And you know what? Some of those aquatic notes moved up to the top in this aftershave splash. They're definitely more prominent in the aftershave splash than they were in the um, shaving soap. And I'm, I'm really not mad at that. That smells very nice. If anything, the splash is a little bit more brighter than the soap but both 
smell very nice, so I ain't really mad at it. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the shave. I appreciate you guys. Check out Murphy and McNeil on September 19th to pick up Granuel if you're interested. And use my, uh, my affiliate link if you're interested. It'll be in the description below. Cheers, guys. Hope you had a good weekend, and I hope you have a good week.